2018 Fiat 500 liters. Overview, following in the footsteps of Mini, Fiat re-entered the US market with a teeny little car, the 500, that paid homage to an even tinier, decades-old icon of cuteness of the same name. But brands like Mini and Fiat cannot survive on one product alone, and inevitably the time comes to add derivative models. But whereas Mini's attractive, Cooper-inspired clubmen and countrymen models were largely credible efforts, Fiat's attempt to scale up the 500 resulted in the gawky 500 liters. Fiat's more crossover-like 500X, which came a bit later, is rather more successful than the 500 liters. But the 500 liters does have the advantage in interior space and versatility with a taller roof, huge windows, and excellent outward visibility. That said, there's little that the Fiat 500 liters does that the 500X doesn't do better. Exterior styling tweaks, updated infotainment systems, and a revised dashboard and center console attempt to keep the 500 liters fresh for 2018. The three trim levels remain, the base pop, the more comfortable lounge, and the more rugged looking trekking, the last getting its own styling treatment evocative of the 500X. Nothing changes mechanically. Powering the 2018 500 liters is the same 160 horsepower turbocharged 1.4 liter inline 4 found in the 500 Abarth and the base 500X. We've noted that several vehicles equipped with the 1.4 liter suffer from considerable turbo lag, which is particularly pronounced in the rather heavy 500 liters. What's new, a mid-cycle freshening finds the 500 liters with new front and rear fascias, daytime running lamps, and body side trim. Lounge models wear lots of chrome, and as before, the trekking has a more SUV-ish look with suggestions of front and rear skid plates, a restyled upper grille, and satin silver exterior trim. Inside, all 500 liters models now feature a 7.0-inch touchscreen infotainment system, up from the old base 4.7-inch unit, with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto functionality. The base system employs voice control and Bluetooth connectivity, an upgraded system with satellite radio and navigation is optional on the base pop and standard on the trekking and lounge. What we like, the new noses are a collective improvement, particularly on the dressier lounge trim level. The interiors also look better and work more effectively with their new infotainment systems and relocated shifter and cup holders. As before, the cabin is incredibly roomy. The 500 liters dual glove boxes also are rather handy and they sandwich a recessed shelf for miscellaneous items such as handheld electronics or a set of headphones. Outward visibility remains stellar thanks to those huge windows. What we don't like, the 500 liters is sluggish at best and suffers from turbo lag and a recalcitrant transmission. Body roll and rubbery steering render any sort of enthusiastic driving a non-starter. Unlike the 500X, the 500 liters offers neither all-wheel drive nor a manual transmission, and its fuel economy is no better when comparably equipped. And while exterior styling is entirely subjective, the 500 liters dumpling-inspired shape is one we've yet to warm up to.